Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want to talk about this lesson, Jake pedal? So yes. you have a pedal. You have you have this less than Jake pedal. You've been talking about this for a while. It finally came out. Yes. You did it. And it's called All My Best Friends Are Pedal Heads, named after their song All My Best Friends Are Metal Heads. And I, I love that the day before you go, so I hope people bottom. buy this for the orig original release. Yes. You, go, you text me and you're like, I really hope this does well. And then you were like selling it like what is 11 a.m. or something or yeah and then at like 11 10 i saw a four minute old post to go thanks for buying all of them and i just texted you fuck you <laughs> <laughs> yep uh, i don't know if anybody will like these at all sold out in six minutes my gauge my gauge of whether people were going to like them went up and down so many different times yeah when we talked about making this pedal with the band, I was like, they're going to sell like hotcakes. People are really going to like these. And then the band kept saying like, are you sure you want to do a hundred? That's a lot of pedals to just sit on the shelf if it doesn't do well. Yeah. They were like, we did a snowboard and like, they were like, it didn't sell as fast as we wanted. And those are expensive, but they're like these, you know, I was selling them for one ninety nine for the first price, 200 bucks. Yeah. That's a lot for a fan to pay for something from a band they like. And they're like, that's a lot of money. We can't just expect everybody to buy all of our merch. And I was like, I, I understand, but the pedal world is pretty wild. Yeah. And I, there's never been, as far as I know, there might have been a ska pedal at some point. Maybe. I don't know of any. Uh, and Tim Armstrong from Rancid did like a super small, limited, like hand built, hand painted release for like a punk and a ska pedal at some point. Oh, really? And, uh, and yeah, but they're not available. You know, they're yeah. collector's pieces. And I was like, we're going to make a punk and ska pedal. That's like a toggle switch on a two amp, uh, two channel amp. And we did a hundred for the first batch that, yeah. you know, I'm actually currently building and it's a lot of work, but yeah, they sold out in six minutes and I was completely freaked out. So, you know, I actually texted the band and I was like, are we opening a pre-order for batch two? And they were like, yes, 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 yes. You know, we'll strike while the iron's hot. You know, you want to, you know, not yeah. to sound like a complete, you know, capitalist, but take everybody's money before they get different ideas. Yeah. Um, so we were like, all right, let's put up batch two, say it's coming out in early 2024 and sold dang near 150 more. So wow. we are very happy. We're really happy that so yeah. many people wanted it. Uh, it's a lot of work coming up for me, which is kind of a uh, a little bit stressful, but I'm also very happy. Like I want to work hard. You yeah. know, that, it makes me feel good to work hard. I've literally been set up in front of my TV at home in my living room with a little computer desk that we had. And I plugged in all my soldering stuff and I've been watching movies and Boy Meets World uh, oh. reruns and things Topanga. like that. Topanga. Oh, Topanga. That's going to be my new pedal. I'm going to come up with like a, yeah, I think Topanga pedal. There was something similar to that from Caitlin Brett, I think. Topanga, Topeka? Was a I Topeka don't pedal? <laughs> <laughs> something, to I don't Topeka know. and Corey wouldn't have been the most uh, beautiful yeah. couple, I don't think. Yeah, but, okay. um, but yeah, I've just been <laughs> building pedals like go, go, go nonstop. Dude, it's, and, I mean, not everybody's had a hit this year. That's uh, it's great. You, you're doing great. And so. I'm, thank you. I, I'm very happy. And and Wonder, I mean, Wonderwall was a hit. I mean, people love that pedal. You've had yeah. a lot of pedals that people got on board for and loved. Yeah, so. I'm, ha I'm happy that I did something right and yeah. that people put their trust in me to make something cool. Because like all people heard from this Less Than Jake pedal was like a couple quick demo clips that I made. And then yeah. Matt over at Ambient Trash He's kind of known for doing these like emo finger tappy indie kind of song demos that people really love. And I, I knew that he was a secret ska kid. Yeah. And I was like, bro, like less than Jake pedal. And he was like, 100%, absolutely, let's do this. And he actually got like punk guitar, ska upstrokes, and his partner played trombone on the track. And nice. I was like, this is incredible. So nice. I had a lot of great people in their, our corner. And, you know, my thanks to less than Jake for giving me that phone call. Yeah. You know, I, it's, mean, uh, I basically got a phone call from Chris, their singer and guitar player. And he was just like, I saw that article about you in spin magazine. It's so cool that you're doing this. Let's do a pedal together if you're down. And I was like, oh, a ska punk pedal would be so cool. So fun. Yeah. Cause that's like where I come from, you know, yeah, yeah. like I'm like an old warp tour kid and I loved all the old punk rock compilations. Like that was my world. And we, my band toured with less than Jake several times. Yeah. Uh, even before my band toured with them, I played 
bass in a band called the Wilhelm Scream, and that was my first tour ever. They pulled me out of college. I went on tour, and Less Than Jake was headlining. So I got to meet them there and basically be shown the ropes by one of my favorite bands growing up. You know, yeah, so yeah. The fact that it's been, I don't know how many years. Uh, yeah, we're at like almost 18 years since then. Wow. And now we're making a pedal together. And I'm just super stoked. And I hope people dig it a lot. You know, it's kind of a cool thing to toggle between all that. All right, man. Yeah, let's hear this thing. So yeah, clean tone kind of. And then when you flip on the pedal... We're on the blue channel, which is just this blue knob. It says ska next to it. And that's 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 just this. Yep, and and this toggle switch. So this is kind of a nice little boost. Compre yeah. it kind of compresses it a little bit, adds some spank to it. And then you flip that up, and that kind of becomes your dirty ska. So I think that sounds really good on like a neck pickup. So yeah. So yeah, just a it's great awesome. little chimey, tight tone. And then when you hit, this is the on and off right here. Yeah. The whole pedal on and off. So if you can, if you want to use another pedal or, you know, just bypass your signal, sure. I don't know why you would. This is sweet. Um, Never turn it off. But then this right here toggles between the blue and the yellow channel. So it's like an amplifier. You're going from ska to punk back and forth. You play your verse, ska, chorus comes up and then... So yeah, it's kind of a really fun, unique little design. Does this design. do something when it's in yellow mode? Or it's just, nope. it's just, so it's just blue over here, yellow over here. And what's the yeah. controls on this? Sorry, I can't uh, see the front of oh, it. Oh, it's all good. They're kind of hard to see unless you're right on top of it. But yeah, so this one says ska, which is really the ska volume. Yeah. This one says punk, which is the amount of punk channel, essentially volume. Yeah. And then yeah, gain, tone, and presence. Okay. And what's really cool about this dirt channel over here it's very amp like yeah uh, it's kind of my ideal distortion i really love it uh you can tweak the tone and presence kind of back and forth like back off on the tone turn up the presence turn up the tone back off on the presence you can sort of sculpt the sound a little bit differently so it's not just like a one type of tone knob and you find that sweet spot yeah, and move yeah. on you can kind of find, you can get a little bit more scoopy feeling. You can get it a little bit more mid rangey depending on where you put those two. Together and against each other a little bit to yeah. kind of move around. Because yeah. I have another version of this circuit that I'm working on that has bass, mid, mid treble. Uh, I think there was like diode selection, uh, diode selection, sorry, learning how to talk again, um, and then presence as well. And when I was talking to Chris from Less Than Jake, he was just like, yeah, and you know, one thing I'm thinking for all of this is just simple. Yeah, and I was like, okay, time to get rid of some knobs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get rid of the diode switch because, like, I know exactly which one I would play in less than Jake. So it's all dialed into what I would use if I was playing in their band, and and the band liked it. So I mean, yes. And when I recorded the demos in my studio for it, uh, I had my brother, who's a drummer, play yeah. the drums for the less than Jake songs, and then I even played bass. And their bass is pretty like difficult. Like I kind of had to learn how to play cool walkie ska bass lines and then playing the guitar over it i was like oh wow like yeah, these tones great. i was yeah. like these tones match the band very well so yeah not just a little gimmick fan pedal it's uh it's something that you know a band could bring on tour and use even if you're not in a ska punk band i actually told someone a, a commenter was like whoa that distortion sounds really good but i play heavy music and i was like that's one of the tricks about punk rock and pop punk is they're using metal amps with the gain turned down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot of people try to take an old Marshall, put a tube screamer in front of it to try to get those palm mutes and the chugs. Yeah. But really, if you take a 5150 or a Mesa dual rec and you just turn that gain down, you'll find that spot. Like yeah. the, it's it's rock and roll. So yeah. it's kind of a fun little thing that even when I was in my band, like I played a crank head on tour. Like we're on tour with Paramore and I'm playing a crank head and you know, everyone's like, oh, your tone's great. And I'm like, you have no idea 
what's back behind my road case right now. That's it's it's like the metalist looking thing. It's like a dime bag amp, basically. You no, know, it's really all they make. Are they even still in business? I haven't. I'm actually seen not sure. I've been looking. Uh, I haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, they make a pedal called the dis or they made a pedal called the Distortus Maximus. That seems and, right. And it was like based on their Rev One amp, which is what I played. And it sounds great, but yeah, I don't think that they're, uh, if they exist, it's in a different form. I think like maybe somebody else owns them or, but yeah. Everybody kind of goes to the nether in these yeah, things. It's, it's hard to be a, a, a competitor. A person. And it's I hard think. to be a human being on yeah, this <laughs> starship earth. <laughs> but yeah, super stoked about Less Than Jake. Basically, I mean, at this point they are all sold out and spoken for. Yeah, I was going to hit you up for one uh, a couple weeks ago and then I was like you I saw your prayer I was like, yeah, I'll get one well, when he's I figured might, it out. Well, I might I might have some I'm going to actually hit up my supplier uh and get some extras because I know that that's going to happen. Yeah. I know that friends are going to be like, "Oh, what the heck?" Cuz yeah. I already have one of my best buds, Dan Soap. Yeah. He's a big co collector of like all things punk and ska and hardcore. And I told him I was going to give him one if you're watching Dan I'll get you one. Uh, but yeah, I was like, oh no, where am I going to get this from? Do I have to give him one of mine? And I'm like, I don't really want to give up one of mine, but also I don't care. If yeah. I really wanted to make one you of my pedals. You can wait till February. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah, we'll see if I'm still alive and by just then. write number one on it and he'll, and just be I've, like, this is number one. I've done that before when people are like, hey, like, can I get one of these pedals? Like an early surly, uh, uh, early surly, an early serial number. And I'm like, well, I don't serialize my pedals anymore but I'll write number one on yours and you can tell everyone that it's number one. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it makes you feel good. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah no. It's fun. Who cares? It's true. But yeah, that's that. Awesome.